Well, hi everyone. Welcome to Beautiful Skin for Life. Jane Crawford, your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. Okay, homework. If you're a consultant, you're, you are welcome to use this video in any way that you see fit to help grow your client base. If you do not have a consultant, please um, contact me and I would love to take care of you. If you do have a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant, I just ask that you contact her to purchase any products that you might see here on my channel. Okay, oh, and subscribe and ring the bell and comment and all that stuff on YouTube. Okay, all right, so we had uh, a couple of weeks ago, downtown brown lip color and a new nude come back or come back to the line. Downtown Brown came back because the consultant, um, the sales force at Mary Kay uh, asked for it back and Mary Kay listens to us and she put it back in the line, okay? All right, so they also debuted a new nude called Subdued Nude. And it is really quite subdued, okay? Um, yes. What do you think? So one of my clients, okay, if you know me at all, you know that these are not my colors, but I did have a client say, Jane, I really want you to do a quick little tutorial on this new nude. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. So I have no lip color on right now. Now I did do my lip scrub this morning. So please um, do your lip scrub three or four times. I would prefer five times a week, but if I can get it three, we would take that. So the Mary Kay lip scrub. So I'm just gonna put this on for you and show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna have to doctor it up a smidge, okay? It's $18 retail. This is the gel semi matte formula. Okay, here we go. Now with my coloring, I don't think this looks very good. Now, some of my clients would go, oh, that's, that's just the color I want. But to me, it just like, because I have blonde hair and sorta, of, it just looks like the color of my skin. Um, now, on a darker skinned person, it might look pretty good because the contrast would be way better than it is on my skin. Now, I'm going to put on something over it because I can't take it. I'm gonna put casual rose over the top in my super hydrating line. Here we go. And this is what I'll wear all day to shoot. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Which is gonna turn it a coral color. Which gives me a little more color. Now see, I don't think that's bad for a coral. It looks like a coral color. So the cool thing, the really cool thing about all of our um, lip products is the mix and match, um, um, uh, play with crayons kind of thing that I do with all of my lip colors behind my desk in my office. <laughs> is a big variety of all the lip colors that I put on all day. But with the, with the casual rose over the top, it really turns it into a really light coral. So I could do this, you know, it's not like super bright or anything for me. I do like a little bit brighter. I do have some sort of dramatic eyes on today, so I think it works. And then just for fun, subdued nude, I would like to see it on an African-American or a really um, dark-skinned Hispanic woman just to see um, what the contrast is. If anybody wants to come down and play makeup with me, that would be fantastic. Um, and would it, would it fade them out too? Now, I always want bright lips and my clients always say, oh, not too bright. So just a little gloss over the top. And I will wear this to shoot all day long. What do you think? Subdued nude. 
How many lipstick colors do you have open at any given time? Now you can't ask a Mary Kay lady that because we have a bunch. But the average person, I would say five to seven, probably. What's your number? Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time here on Beautiful Skin for Life. Bye for now.